Hi, I'm Casey Polis. Two years ago, our home received a new smart meter from ComEd as part of a test program. Now, I think smart meters are great for a number of reasons, but some people have concerns. This is Mariel Fisher, an energy engineer from ComEd. Mariel, these meters have very low power radios that transmit data back to ComEd, and some people believe they pose a health risk. Some people have alleged that these radio signals pose a health hazard. But in fact, the radio frequency emissions associated with these meters are far lower than many common consumer electronics, such as cell phones, and they're well below federal limits. There is no evidence that these smart meters pose any health hazard. This radio frequency analyzer will allow me to find and measure the strength of some of the RF emissions in your home. Well, let's measure my home smart meter. All right. So my meter is just outside that wall. Just like yours, many smart meters are located on the outside wall of the home. When the meter sends its signal, very little makes its way inside. I'm showing about 910 microwatts per meter squared. 910 microwatts per meter squared. What does that mean? It's how much electromagnetic energy is contained in an area one meter by one meter located here. So 910 microwatts doesn't sound like a lot. It's not. Heating up a cup of tea in your microwave can expose you to 56,600 microwatts per meter squared. That's 60 times as many microwatts as my smart meter. In fact, the microwave's emissions were so strong we had to use another, more sophisticated RF analyzer just to measure it. Wow. Well, what about my cell phone? The signal's stronger because it's so close to your body and the duration is much longer than anything you'd experience from a smart meter. But what about people who claim that these microwave or cell phone comparisons aren't valid because the smart meter broadcasts at a different frequency? Excellent question. So I brought this. A baby monitor? Yes. This baby monitor broadcasts in the same frequency spectrum as your smart meter. Let's compare. If you've ever used a baby monitor, depending on how close you place the monitor to your child, its RF emissions can be comparable to a smart meter. Wow, I've used baby monitors. You know, Casey, the fact is we're bathed in RF emissions everywhere we go. From TV and radio broadcasts, GPS signals, satellite transmissions, even RF that's generated from video games. My daughter. And hair dryers too. Hair dryers, really? A lot of scientific research has gone on in Europe and the United States regarding RF and health risks, and there have been no conclusive studies that prove RF emissions are a risk. Well, that last comparison says it all. If you trust a baby monitor in your baby's bedroom, you shouldn't worry about a smart meter on the outside of your home. Well said. The ComEd website has a lot of information about smart meters and ComEd's efforts to modernize the grid. Just go to comed.com smartgrid. Thanks, Marielle. My pleasure.